What's up guys, Nathaniel Dodds and Tutvid.com. Today we're going to take a very quick look at dodging and burning in Photoshop. And this is one of my favorite dodging and burning techniques. It's very quick, it's very easy, and most importantly it's non-destructive. You can do it to photos, graphics, pieces of artwork, illustrations, anything you want in Photoshop. And it's completely adjustable and there's a ton of stuff you can do with it once you set it up. So the first thing you need to do is create a new layer. And I'm just going to name that layer dodge burn just so I know what it is in case I have a huge file with a ton of layers then I'm gonna go edit fill and I'm gonna fill it with 50% gray boom fills a layer with 50% gray then what we need to do is set this layer to the blend mode of soft light now that we've done that you can see all the gray disappears now by simply making the gray a little lighter or a little darker we can make selected portions of this image lighter or darker and that's really what dodging and burning is all about making some parts a little darker some parts a little brighter and sort of selectively building this shape and this contrast so we're gonna grab the dodge and burn tools. I like to start with burn. I like to get my shadows taken care of first and then I go to the dodging and make the highlights a little bit brighter. So I like to define my shadows first. Burn tool. I like to work with my range set to mid tones and an exposure of about 10. If you're using a version of Photoshop that's newer and has protect tones, uh, I recommend you turn that on as well. But not, not a deal breaker if you don't have it. So then I just zoom in and I really just follow the natural highlights and shadows in my image. So I'm going to start here along the side of his head and really the whole hairline. There's a little natural natural shadow in the hair there and then I'm going to take these shadows here underneath the glasses and sort of build a little shadow here across the nose where the glasses touch them here we'll thicken up the eyebrows and shadow above the glasses you can thicken facial hair or make it appear to be thicker by just burning it a little bit great increase the shadow under the nose a little bit make it a little sharper here on the side of his neck as well and I'm gonna go ahead and just dodge or rather burn excuse me the rest of this image where I think it needs to be burned following just little details in the shirt and things like that And there we have it. We've done the burning portion of this, and we've really started to accentuate the muscles in the arm, as well as really make the wrinkles in the shirt a little bit more crisp and pop, as well as some of the detail of the face really start to shape the face. So you can see here, if we put our layer back to normal, we have the 50% gray, except for all the areas that we've darkened, which are essentially darkening the image, right? Because the darker areas are staying, all the gray is dropping away. So we'll go back to soft light, and to really see what this is doing, we shut the dodge burn layer off, turn it back on and you can see all that definition. Um, now on the same dodge burn layer, now that we've done our shadows, we're going to go ahead and take care of the highlights. So again, go to the burn tool, but this time obviously select dodge tool. And again, range midtones exposure one is great. Um, whoop, make sure you have the uh, dodge tool selected. And I'm going to use my bracket keys here, make the brush a little bit bigger. I want to place a highlight right here in the middle of the forehead. And the way that I do this is by starting with a big brush, clicking a few times, make the brush a little smaller, click a few more times, a little smaller, click a few more times. All right, there we go. And we'll follow some of these natural highlights here in the hair as well, really bring those highlights out, uh, add some shape to the hair. And then what I'll do too is hit these strong highlights in the glasses, really make those pop. And we can hit, you know, sort of here in the bottom of the glasses, open that up a little bit. That'll add a little bit of depth to the glasses. The highlight coming down the middle of the nose. And you, you sort of do passes maybe with a wider brush and then go to a narrower brush and so on and so forth. And you'll really build out your highlights and help them to fade a little bit more naturally with uh, the surrounding image back here on the ear. And I'm going to go over this image now and dodge what needs to be dodged. And then we'll wrap this thing up. One thing that I should add as well as I'm going through these wrinkles is that you really want to take the time to knock out little details like this instead of just painting over the whole thing with one huge brush. It makes a massive difference just making your brush a little bit smaller and really getting in and taking care of details rather than trying to rush over it quickly. All right, so now that we've done that, one quick thing that I want to show you before I just show you a couple cool things about the dodge and burn is a little tip. If you are just using the dodge or the burn tool, let's say I'm dodging here, I'm making this a little bit lighter and I go too far, obviously you can always undo a couple times to get rid of it. But more importantly, if you hold down your alt or option key, the, the tool stops at dodging and you can actually convert it back to the burn tool. See, I'm adding that really deep rivet in his arm. I don't want it that deep, obviously, but just holding down the Alt or Option key while you paint, you can quickly go back and forth, make this really bright, then make this really dark, go back make that really bright, and so on and so forth. Just a little tip when you are dodging and burning if you're using the Dodge Burn tools that way. So there we go. If I go back to normal blend mode, you can see we've created sort of this Dodge Burn layer, and we can set this to soft light. If we want to intensify this, we just go ahead and hit Command or Control J to duplicate uh, that layer, just like that. And you can see there's before 
and there's after we've done a, a huge amount of uh, sort of enhancement or degradation depending on the way you're looking at it this arm is really starting to look pretty fake um, so maybe something you also would want to do is go ahead and blur this layer what that would do is sort of take some of these really detailed ridges and things out of this dodging layer and make the whole effect a little bit more subtle you do want to be careful though if you blur this too much you risk sort of washing out a ton of detail um, so maybe blur it I don't know let's try 10 pixels something like that that that's probably too much maybe five that looks a little bit better hit okay and set this layer back to the blend mode of soft light turn it off turn it on turn it off turn it on that's pretty good and now of course it's still way too heavy the whole effect so now you can just begin to dial back the opacity of both layers until it looks perfect there's before there's after before after so just like that you can completely change the look and feel of an image now in this case it's actually a pretty subtle effect here um, but there are images where dodging and burning makes a massive difference but that is it for this one that is how you dodge and burn in Photoshop. Well, that's one way to dodge and burn in Photoshop, I should say. And that's it for this one. Nathaniel Dodson, tutvid.com. I'll see you guys around. Thanks for checking out the video, guys. Make sure you share it with your friends. And of course, subscribe to the Tutvid YouTube channel. And also go ahead and hit that little like button for the video. That always helps out. And there's also an Instagram channel or feed or whatever full of cool little tutorials, tips and tricks, things like that that you can check out. It's instagram.com slash tutvid. Make sure you go over there and follow it. And also, tutvid.com, you can sign up for the free newsletter and get all kinds of exclusive content and goodies through that each and every month. Thanks for watching, guys.